John is an active man in his early 60s. He's always watched his diet, gone for regular walks and considered himself healthy. So when a strange, persistent numbness started in his left arm, he did what many of us might do. He brushed it off. He figured it was just a pinched nerve from sleeping awkwardly or a strain from the gym. What John didn't realise was that his body was giving him a very specific warning. A dangerously blocked artery in his neck was on the verge of causing a massive, life-altering stroke. That subtle sensation was a critical signal before a potential disaster. In today's video, I'll reveal the seven warning signs that could mean your neck arteries are dangerously blocked. Understanding these signs is crucial because knowing them could save your life or the life of someone you love. Let's start by understanding what's really happening inside your body when these symptoms appear. The carotid arteries are two large blood vessels on either side of your neck, like main highways delivering oxygen-rich blood to your brain. Over time, due to risk factors like high blood pressure, high cholesterol and smoking, fatty deposits known as plaques can build up on the inner walls of these arteries. This condition is called carotid artery stenosis. The passageway narrows, blood can't flow as freely, and your brain is put at risk. For many, the very first symptom is a major stroke, but there are often warning signs. Recognising them can literally save your life. So, let's go through the seven warning signs to look out for. Number one, a rhythmic sound in your ear. The first sign is one of the most unusual. It's a rhythmic whooshing or pulsing sound that is in perfect sync with your heartbeat, often heard in one ear. This is called pulsatile tinnitus. Unlike common ringing in the ears, this sound is directly related to blood flow. When an artery narrows, the smooth flow of blood can become turbulent, much like water rushing past a rock in a stream. It's thought that this turbulent blood flow near the structures of your ear is what can create this audible pulse. If you ever experience a rhythmic whooshing sound in your ears, don't dismiss it. It could be an auditory clue that there is a physical disruption to your blood flow that needs investigation. Before we move to our second sign, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel. I create weekly videos on health awareness, and with your support, these videos can reach more people who desperately need this information. Number two, sudden numbness or weakness on one side. This brings us to the sign that began John's journey. Sudden numbness or weakness in your face, arm or leg, especially if it's only on one side of the body. You might notice one side of your face starting to droop, find it difficult to lift an arm, or feel a leg begin to drag. This happens because the arteries in your neck supply specific parts of your brain that control movement and sensation. More commonly, this symptom is the hallmark of a transient ischemic attack, often called a mini-stroke. A transient ischemic attack occurs when a tiny piece of plaque breaks off, travels to the brain and temporarily blocks a blood vessel. The body dissolves the clot and the symptoms disappear. Because the symptoms go away, people are tempted to ignore them. But this is the single most important warning sign that a major stroke may be imminent. If this sounds familiar, don't ignore it. It's one of the most important clues that your arteries are struggling. The third sign is a sudden difficulty with speech or comprehension. You might find yourself slurring your words, or the words that come out might be jumbled and make no sense. In other cases, you might suddenly be unable to understand what others are saying. This condition is a direct result of a lack of blood flow to the language centers of the brain. Like the numbness we just discussed, this can be a symptom of a transient ischemic attack that comes on suddenly and then resolves. If this ever happens to you or someone you're with, it is a medical emergency. The temporary nature of the symptom does not reduce its severity. It's a sign that a part of your brain was momentarily starved of blood, and the next time, that blockage could become permanent. The fourth sign is a sudden, often strange, change in your vision, particularly in one eye. The classic sign is known as amaurosis fugax, where it looks like a grey or black curtain is coming down over your field of vision. After a few minutes, the curtain lifts and normal vision returns. This happens because the artery supplying blood to your eye's retina is a small branch of the internal carotid artery. 
A small clot or piece of plaque can temporarily get stuck there, cutting off blood flow to the eye. While carotid artery disease is a key cause, other conditions can also lead to this symptom. Regardless of the cause, it is a clear signal that requires immediate medical evaluation. The fifth sign is sudden, unexplained dizziness or a loss of balance and coordination. This isn't just feeling lightheaded. It's a more significant feeling of disorientation or a spinning sensation called vertigo. You might be walking normally and then suddenly stumble unable to coordinate your movements. These symptoms are often tied to blood flow to the back of the brain, particularly the cerebellum, which helps control our balance. When a blockage in a vertebral artery affects this blood supply, the brain's ability to manage your body's equilibrium is compromised. The vertebral arteries are the two main arteries which supply the back of your brain. When this symptom appears suddenly, without a known cause, it should be considered a potential neurological red flag. Number six, a sudden, severe, one-sided headache or neck pain. This warning sign is different from your usual headaches and it is caused by an actual tear in your carotid artery called a dissection. In carotid artery dissection, people often describe a sudden, sharp or severe headache, usually on one side of the head sometimes centered around the temple, eye, or jaw. It can also start a severe neck pain that feels completely out of proportion to anything you've experienced before. The key is the suddenness and intensity. It may come on abruptly, sometimes during everyday activities like stretching, coughing, or even turning the head. That sharp pain can be the first clue that the artery wall has torn, allowing blood to track into the vessel wall and disrupt blood flow to the brain. This is not a typical migraine or tension headache. A sudden, severe, one-sided headache or neck pain, especially if it's new for you, can be a red flag for carotid artery dissection. And because a dissection can quickly lead to a stroke, this is a medical emergency. Do not wait to see if it settles. Seek help immediately. Number seven, recognizing a transient ischemic attack. The seventh sign is really an umbrella that covers many of the symptoms we've already discussed. It is the full recognition of a transient ischemic attack for what it is, a temporary stroke. A transient ischemic attack can be any of the sudden one-sided symptoms we've covered, numbness, weakness, vision loss, or speech difficulty that resolves completely. This is the most crucial sign to understand because it is so deceptive. Because you feel better, it's easy to think the danger has passed. But the opposite is true. A transient ischemic attack is a dress rehearsal for a major stroke. Studies show that a significant percentage of people who have this will have a full stroke within days or weeks with many of these occurring within just 48 hours. Any time you experience a sudden neurological symptom that then disappears, it is a reason for immediate action. So, let's return to John. After his wife insisted, he saw a doctor. An initial exam pointed towards a pinched nerve. But when the symptoms continued, his doctor ordered a simple, painless test, a carotid ultrasound. The results showed his left carotid artery was over 90% blocked. The numbness in his arm wasn't a nerve issue. It was his brain being deprived of blood. John underwent a procedure to clear the artery and is now back to his active life, but with a new understanding of his body's warning signs. The battle against carotid artery disease is one with prevention and awareness. Prevention methods include controlling high blood pressure, this is a major risk factor for plaque buildup. I have done a video on ways you can bring your blood pressure down naturally, so do check this out on the top right-hand corner. Lowering cholesterol. A healthy diet is essential, and medications like statins may be needed. Quitting smoking. Smoking damages your arteries and dramatically accelerates this process. Managing diabetes. Keeping blood sugar controlled protects your entire vascular system. Regular exercise. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate activity per week to improve cardiovascular health. When we talk about blocked arteries in the neck, 
we're not just talking about one part of the body. Carotid artery disease is a marker of overall vascular health and a major cause of stroke, responsible for about 10 to 15% of all ischemic strokes. Stroke is the fifth leading cause of death in the United States, but it is often preventable. So please, do talk to your doctor if you recognize any of these symptoms in yourself or your loved ones, and share this video with anyone who you think would benefit from hearing it. Catching these signs early can really save a life. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.